Hi, Med Made Easy here. Phenytoin is the topic of our video today. Phenytoin is also known as Dilantin. It is an anticonvulsant, which basically what that means is it helps to prevent seizures. So let's get right into the click tips that you came here for. Tip number one, frequent dental visits and good oral hygiene is so important to prevent gingival hyperplasia or basically the overgrowth and enlargement of the gum tissue. This can start to develop in one to three months after starting this medication. And a lot of times you may see a, uh, some kind of test question that involves what kind of specialist you may need to see. Appointments for the dentist may need to be every three months or more frequent depending on you and your dentist. Tip number two, therapeutic levels of uh, phenytoin dilantin is 10 to 20. This is important to know because you need to know if it's too low, then you can actually, um, the medicine won't work. And then if it's too high, you can have toxicity. And here are some of the signs and symptoms of that. Tip number three. CBC count should be monitored closely. It should actually be monitored every six months. Phenytoin can cause decreases in platelets, red blood cells, white blood cells, and granulocyte count. If an individual on phenytoin develops a granulocytosis, this can be life-threatening and may rapidly cause the patient to decline. Signs and symptoms to watch for are sudden fever and sore throat. Tip number four, watch for skin rash. If a rash develops, this drug should be discontinued. Steven Johnson syndrome can actually happen anytime while on this drug. The rash may be painful and the skin may actually start to blister and peel and it can lead to things like dehydration, sepsis, and even organ failure. It is considered a medical emergency and should be addressed immediately. Tip number five, acute alcohol use increases serum phenytoin levels, making toxicity more likely to happen. Something interesting to note is that chronic alcohol use may actually decrease phenytoin levels, making phenytoin less likely to work. What this means is that this individual is more likely to have a seizure. The key here is education, patient teaching, making sure that the patient knows not to drink while taking phenytoin. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. That lets us know that you want us to make more of these videos. And make sure to leave comments below if you have a particular subject that you're struggling with and you'd like us to help you out with. We can definitely cater a video just to you. So keep checking out for our videos and you may just see the video that you've requested.